Uh, the presentation will be by uh, Shuyang Han. Shuyang Han is a master's student at the in the Department of Earth and Space Science Engineering at uh, York University in uh, Toronto. His research focuses on modeling vessel behaviors by clustering AIS data using optimized DB scan. And the title of his presentation uh, is uh, Clustering Marine Automatic Identification System AIS Data Using Optimized DB Scan. So, Shuang, uh, can you share your screen? Uh, yes. And also, I'd like to remind the presenter, we'll try to take a photo at the end. So if you could stay online and then at the end, we'll, if you could turn on your camera and then we'll take a, uh, a screenshot. So uh, please go ahead, Shuang. Yes, thank you for the introduction. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you very much for uh, attending my section. Uh, I'm Shuang Han, a master student at your university. Today, I'm going to present my uh, research project and the topics modeling vessel behaviors by clustering AS data using optimized uh, DB scan. Um, marine transportation has a very high volume. Today, marine transportation represents 90% of the international trade volume, and there are more than 50,000 vessels sailing the ocean every day. Uh, but statistically, uh, above 70% of the marine accidents are caused by human error due to fatigue or misjudgment. So uh, one of the ways to make marine navigation safer is to reduce the reliance on humans intervention by equipping uh, with autonomous or semi-autonomous system on the auto vessel. So uh, systematically modeling and the surveillance on the also behaviors should be uh, of high priority in the marine transportation domain, as well as um, auto vessel research. The model includes the function of route planning and the trajectory anomaly detection. Uh, the reliable data sources for uh, generating nautical charts are historical and uh, real-time AIS data. Some vessels traveling internationally are required to install the AIS system, making the AIS data coherent and uh, abundant globally. So uh, this research will focus on modeling the vessels by clustering the marine trajectories from historical AIS data. Uh, by having this model, the new observations uh, can be compared with a cluster with uh, similar uh, features, and the model can predict what is the normal range of velocity direction of this vessel, where it's possibly going, and the, the model can detect if there's an anomaly behavior, such as unexpected collision or smuggling. Um, since the proposed uh, clustering algorithm is closely related to DBSCAN, I would like to uh, briefly introduce DBSCAN basis in this section. Uh, DBSCAN is, is one of the existing uh, clustering method can potentially be applied on marine trajectory clustering. DB scan by its name uh, is good at two things, uh, clustering the data by spatial density and uh, detect all layers simultaneously. As shown in this figure, the points uh, spatially close to each other are uh, can be clustered together and the other points will be uh, considered as outliers. Uh, very generally speaking, DB scan requires uh, two parameters input from the user, uh, epsilon and uh, mean points. Uh, by the setting of those two parameters and the definitions, the points are classified into three categories, uh, the core points in red, density reachable points in yellow, and the uh, outliers in blue. Then the DB scan uh, will iterate points to points to grow the uh, clusters around the core points, and the sample result is shown in this figure. Uh, by this example, DBSCAN has shown the potential on marine trajectory clustering because it is able to cluster the points with uh, complex and arbitrary shapes. And uh, that's the reason why I chose DBSCAN as the foundation of the clustering algorithm. Um, however, DBSCAN needs some modifications before implementing on actual data because of um, uh, limitations. Firstly, DBSCAN has uh, bad performance on unevenly distributed real-world data. Secondly, as mentioned, uh, DBSCAN requires the users 
to input parameters. Uh, usually users need to try uh, many times to find the optimal values. Uh, thirdly, when uh, clustering, dbscan only considers local characteristics, but uh, you can ignore the correlation between the points to the whole cluster. So the objectives of this uh, research is to optimize dbscan based uh, to solve those uh, limitations and then use the enhanced dbscan to cluster uh, historical AS data to model marine transportation. Uh, firstly, let's talk about the proposed definition of the data input. Uh, the research increased the geospatial data dimension before clustering because the, we do not want the latitude and longitude are the only attributes to be considered when clustering. So we extend the data dimension uh, into a high, uh, high dimensional vector, also taking into account uh, SOG, COG, and heading. So the clustering algorithm can find um, more complex and unknown similarities between the data. Uh, another optimization is um, to integrate Mahalanobis distance into the TB scan. Uh, let me give you a very brief uh, comparison between traditional Euclidean distance and the Mahalanobis distance. Unlike uh, Euclidean distance, Mahalanobis distance measure the distance considering the correlation within the cluster uh, by including the covariance matrix in the equation. Uh, for example, when we compare uh, those two points uh, the distance to the centroid, P1 and P2 have the same uh, Euclidean distance to the centroid, but uh, since this P2 is not uh, related to the uh, cluster, it will have much longer Mahalanobis distance to the uh, comparing to P1. Uh, besides using Mahalanobis matrix to measure point to point distance, um, Mahalanobis distance can be used for calculating the correlation between one point to a whole cluster and uh, developed into a classification model. Uh, comparing the calculated distance with uh, input epsilon, um, that's how the cluster gets updated. Uh, as I mentioned before, this kind requires users to input uh, two parameters and the results can be uh, very sensitive to the parameters selection. So it is required to have a universal way to select the parameters so that the clustering result can, uh, from the big data can remain uh, consistent. This research proposed a way to obtain a good initial selection for the two parameters uh, through the KN distribution and uh, calculating the upper limits. So um, I will present a sensitivity analysis later in this presentation to show the validation of this approach to uh, find the parameters. Um, after having the core algorithm, I would like to introduce you what the clustering framework looks like. Uh, this framework applies the proposed clustering uh, algorithm to the historical AS data, and uh, some outliers are filtered in this step. Also, the behavior patterns of marine transportation traffic are profiled based on the uh, clustering result. Then the model uh, can be applied to new observations to provide a desired outcome, including um, vessel behavior reports, visualizations, uh, action uh, recommendations, and even behavior prediction. Also, this model can be uh, updated after feeding the new uh, AIS data. Next slide, I will give you an overview of how this clustering process works. Um, I adopt a map to reduce like uh, framework to the to cluster the smaller pieces of AS data first, then merge them uh, to generate the final uh, classification model to be used for uh, reading the new observations. Those uh, smaller pieces are from dividing the raw data based on MMSI, which has been used for identifying uh, individual uh, vessel trajectories. The proposed uh, first layer a clustering algorithm groups uh, similar trajectory points within the, each MMSI and define the specific uh, trajectory stage. And then second layer clustering merge the clusters from uh, each MMSI data pieces, combining uh, similar clusters and uh, generate the final model. Uh, this, in this way, the algorithm can run efficiently on 
processing uh, big data. Uh, next slides, I will give you a more detailed framework um, of the clustering small pieces with the concept of integrating Mahalanobis distance into DigiScan. Uh, so the raw data is firstly divided into two portions. The reason is to avoid uh, applying the algorithm on the entire data set to reduce the computational cost and uh, accelerate the clustering process. Uh, this, this division process ensures both data sets can share the same distribution and the uh, proposed uh, clustering algorithm is a semi-supervised one composed of uh, unsupervised component and uh, supervised one. The algorithm generated the label data in an uh, unsupervised way with a smaller portion of the data and uh, supervised the component read the rest uh, uh, the data to uh, update the, the model into a final model. Um, in this experiment section, I'll talk about the data, uh, the comparison result for validation, the evaluations, and uh, two case studies using a larger data set. As shown in this figure, the AS data is a point-based data showing uh, vessels information at a specific time. Attributes include a vessels index, uh, location uh, coordinates, speed, heading, and then other uh, vessel information. Uh, a smaller sample data set is used for testing and evaluation. The selected uh, small data set is data of Wolf Island Forry in uh, January 2017. Based on this data set, I created uh, two algorithm testing scenarios. The first one is to test uh, performance on outlier detection. Uh, the second one is to test if the algorithm is able to distinguish intersections and uh, identify them as a uh, separated clusters. Uh, in the case studies, the proposed uh, cluster algorithm has been implemented on two uh, big data sets. The first one is data from St. Lawrence Seaway and the Great Lakes region uh, purchased from WorldCom. And the second one is uh, open source data in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, here comes to how to evaluate uh, the clustering result. The effectiveness of the proposed approach is evaluated by comparing it with uh, uh, various commonly used machine learning algorithms. The clustering result uh, from those algorithms are used as a reference on the testing data set. The section evaluates two components separately and uh, evaluate the performance on discovered uh, clusters and uh, detect uh, outliers. So in total, there are uh, four comparison groups. Uh, today, I'll only show you some representative results in this section. Uh, this is the result of using unsupervised learning to discover the clusters. Uh, the points in the same uh, color means uh, they're in the same cluster. A good clustering result should discover the stages in the trajectory, and the clustering result should maximize the point similarities within the stage and maximize the differences across the stage. So by visually uh, evaluating the clustering result first, Results from the uh, DB scan is uh, better than the results from k-means. For example, a cluster was uh, divided into two clusters by k-means, but uh, since the vessel uh, keep the same heading and speed within this cluster, so it is a consistent cluster and uh, not recommended to be uh, divided. Uh, Furthermore, to evaluate the performance, I plot the scores on each uh, evaluation criterion. The results indicate that the proposed uh, approach has the best performance regarding external evaluation, demonstrating uh, the proposed uh, algorithm has the good uh, accuracy, homogeneity, and uh, completeness. Uh, this is a result of supervised learning uh, to detect uh, outliers. Uh, 1,000 uh, multivariance outliers were artificially synthesized around the main trajectory. Uh, excuse me. KN support vector machine and the neural network are uh, only only doing a binary classification task here. All of them using uh, the data from the previous step as a training data, as well as the outliers. 
uh, but uh, enhanced DB scan discovered uh, clusters and uh, detected outer layers at the same time and uh, did not use the outer layers from the last step as training data. So uh, this experiment may be uh, in favor of uh, other method. Uh, even though the proposed uh, uh, clustering method still keeps a good performance quality level on detecting outer layers among uh, other supervised algorithm, which satisfied my expectation. Uh, by summary, the proposed clustering method are not always the best ones, but uh, they all remain high quality performance. In a uh, real world uh, to design the model, you can apply two proposed uh, components to make it consistent, or you can uh, also add some components or replace a component to make uh, the process more accurate. Uh, this is the sensitivity analysis uh, section. Uh, to evaluate the validity of the proposed parameter auto selection method. Uh, this experiment apply a, a set of results with uh, different sets of parameters. Through uh, analyzing the results, how the parameters can influence the, to the, the result are analyzed. The experiment adjusts the parameters uh, by 20% up and down separately and uh, apply the adjusted parameters to the uh, enhanced DB scan. Um, basically, all the results successfully were, were at least partially in discovered uh, corresponding clusters and detect uh, outer layers. Um, so I can conclude that the auto selection method gives the good recommendations and they have a certain level of tolerance of variation. The proposed parameter auto selection method can be used in the larger scale big, big data in the case studies. So uh, the first uh, data set used in case study is uh, big data from Gulf of Mexico. I filtered uh, 70 MMSI with uh, 1.2 million uh, trajectory points. Uh, another data set is uh, big data from uh, St. Lawrence, UA and the Great Lakes. Uh, we purchased uh, three day data from WorkCom. Uh, it's around uh, 17 uh, megabytes containing 135,000 trajectory points. So this is one of the application uh, used to detect the uh, porous areas, all the places where the, the vessels are moored in these regions are presented. Uh, another application is to assist uh, exploratory data analytics by profiling vessel behaviors. Those behavior vectors are created by averaging the attributes and uh, considering data size as weights. Uh, those vectors are presented as arrows in the figure. Uh, the data size is presented as darkness level and the direction of the arrow presents the heading. Uh, another two applications is to uh, take advantage of the final clustering results to uh, develop the vessel behaviors uh, a recommendation and the anomaly detection model. Uh, the first example is giving the vessel location. The model will recommend what uh, the vessel should do based on the well organized training data by uh, finding the two closest clusters. Another example is uh, to monitor uh, vessel behaviors for a new AS observation. The model calculates the distance to uh, two closest uh, clusters to determine if they can match. Uh, the model can also provide the possibilities that uh, it is an anomaly behavior. So uh, basically, I believe this research has three layers of contributions. In the first place, the machine learning community uh, benefits from the DBSCAN clustering of optimization. The enhanced DBSCAN brings the new possibilities and uh, understanding of clustering. And uh, the proposed uh, parameter auto-selecting method facilitates the classroom tasks and the spare efforts on trial and error method to find uh, the suitable parameters. Uh, secondly, the proposed uh, framework can be specifically used for modeling the vessel behaviors by clustering historical AS data through uh, organizing similar AS data and clustering them together. 
the vessels can be uh, profiled into labeled clusters. Based on the result, the model can be generated for uh, route planning, recommendation, actions, detecting anonymous, such as things like that. So overall, this uh, provides some foundations for autonomous vessel development. Uh, thirdly, beyond contributions to marine trajectory uh, transportation modeling, even more general data analysis tasks can be a benefit from the proposed uh, clustering framework. The enhanced DB scan uh, can be applied uh, to organize the raw and label data and facilitate preparing the labeled training data. And uh, I think it can uh, contribute to uh, active learning by uh, making this, uh, if I upgrade the framework into an interactive one. So uh, thank you very much for everyone for listening. Uh, thank you to NSERC and the European University for uh, their funding support. Uh, thank Boom, uh, Noah and uh, WorldCom for the, uh, providing the AS data. And uh, my deepest uh, gratitude to, to my advisors, Professor uh, Armanakis and uh, Professor Chadidi. Uh, that's all my presentation today. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, thank you, uh, Xu Yang.